everyone this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel e-commerce project tutorial in this tutorial we are going to add login and register system for both user and admin so first of all uh, let's go to our project directory and over here you can see that youtube e-commerce uh, this is our project directory so first of all we are going to open the cmd over here so for it we are just going to say over here cmd and it will open a command prompt over here and in order to create login and registration we are going to use laravel jsteam to create login and registration and for it we need to write those command here you can see so the first one will be composer require composer require laravel then slash jsteam and if you press enter it will start uh, installing this jsteam package it will take some time you can see over here that jsteam is installed now uh, we need to write the second command which is psp artisan jsteam clone install library so we are going to write this we'll say over here php artisan jstream then this clone sign will say over here install library and press enter so library is installed as well so now we need to write this to uh, command npm install npm install and press enter again it will again take some time after npm install we need to run npm run dev we'll now say npm run dev and press enter npm run dev is also done uh, now before we migrate the table in the database we need to make some changes in the database so for this let's go to our code we'll directly go to our here you can see database we'll click database then we click migrations then over here you can see that a lot of table over here we'll directly go to create users table.php so over here you can see a lot of column uh, name and email so we are going to add a few more column over here like user role type then we'll add phone number and address okay so let me just copy one of them uh, let me just copy this one ctrl c and uh, ctrl v over here this one will be uh, let's say it will be user type user type and uh, by default it will have a value uh, let's say by default its value will be zero uh, and i mean uh, zero means it will be user and if the value is on then it is admin okay so after this user type we'll have phone number field and address field so let our phone phone and then address and let's say uh, these two will be null able and uh, let me just copy this null able and paste it over here as well so phone number and address will be null able okay so let's save it control s now let's go to our command prompt and we'll see over here php artisan migrate and press enter so if the table is migrated it mean our last step is also done okay so now let's go back to our browser then we'll go to phpMyAdmin and if we refresh our here you can see that in the e-commerce database we have uh, some table over here if we click users you can see our here name email user time phone address and other uh, column okay so first of all uh let's click over here and if we refresh you can see we have a login and registration option over here if you click register you can see our hand name email phone uh password compound password we do not have phone number and address field over here so we need to add those so for it uh we'll go to our code we'll just directly go to resource then views and over here you can see auth inside auth you can see login.blade.php and you can see register.blade.php so we'll click register.blade.php and over here you can see uh, all the input field name email password so we are just going to copy this one uh, let's say ctrl c and we'll paste it two times uh, one will be for address and another one, one will be for phone numbers so let's say our hair phone uh, for equal to it will be phone and this value will be phone as well phone uh, id equal to phone type it will be number actually 
okay so let's sort here number and uh, name equal to phone and value old it will be phone as well so after phone now this one will be for address so let me just do this select everywhere and i will just change everything at once you just need to click control and right click uh, everywhere then you will be able to do the same so let's say over here a double d or a double s address and over here the type will be text text so let's save it control s now if we refresh you will see two more input field here we have phone input field and address input field so now we need to make some changes in the controller as well so we need to go to app then models first of all we'll go to users.php and over here we'll add two more fields so we'll add phone and address so let me just phone and address so let me save it then we'll go to actions 45 so this 45 folder you will see create new user.php so let me click it and over here you can see validation we don't uh, we don't require validation for name and address so we'll just add the phone and address so we'll say phone phone equal to phone we'll say address equal to address address uh, now let me just explain a little bit this phone uh, the thing you are seeing it's actually will be just uh like we write over here okay and uh, over here you can see input uh phone right now this phone will come from this register blade uh from uh here you can see name okay same goes for the address so let's save it control s now let's refresh up now let's say we will say our hand name is equal to user let's say email user at type of gmail.com let's add a phone number just random phone number let's add a random address okay so let's give the password three four five six seven eight now click register so you can see that we are able to successfully register over here now if we refresh over here you can see we have the name is equal to user email is equal to this one and by default the user type value is zero which we added uh you can see by default the value will be zero and then you can see the phone number and add this one. so now let me just log out from here and we'll create another account from here so let's uh, click register and this account will be for admin so admin let's uh, admin at that of gmail.com let's also add a random phone number let's give a random address let's give the password let's click register you can see that we created another account so let's go to our browser let's refresh now we are going to make a change over here you can see admin we are going to change the user type so let me just click over here edit then it will take you to this page and over here you can see user type we are going to change it from 0 to 1 and we'll go down and we'll click go you can see that uh, the user type is changed now we need to write some condition so that uh, for specific user it takes us to specific dashboard so let's go to our code so right now let me just close those and we'll go to this config folder and inside config we have 45.php here you can see 45.php so we need to go down and we need to search for this option or this code home equal to slash dashboard so whenever we try to log in or register using jsteam it will automatically always call the slash dashboard url so here instead of slash dashboard we are going to say here slash redirect so right now we are going to create our own url slash redirect for our login and register so whenever someone try to log in and register it will automatically call this slash redirect function so right now we need to create this function in the route so we'll go to our routes then web.php over here we're going to get a route so we'll say uh, we'll say get then we'll say slash redirect 
then uh, give comma, then we need to give a controller name. Let's say we'll have a, uh, let's say, now give two double clone over here, then we'll show our here class, then comma, then two single quotation, and inside it, we need to uh, give a name, function name. So let's say it will be, uh, let's say, redirect. Okay, so let's save it, control S. Now we don't have this home controllers. We need to create this home controller. But before that, uh, we also need to add the uh, controller name of. So we need to use then app backslash. Uh, it will be HTTP backslash controllers controllers backslash uh, home controller. And give semicolon over here. So let's save it. Now we'll uh, go to our theme and create this home controller here we'll say php artisan make controller then let's home controller and press enter so you can see our controller created successfully if we go to our app if you go to app then http then controllers here you can see home controller.php so over here uh we are going to uh, create this redirect function. So uh, let let's write over here public function redirect. Then uh, we'll give we are going to first say uh, declare a variable dollar user type is equal to auth then double clone user then this arrow sign user type. Okay, so what we are doing is that if someone tries to resist uh, like login, then it will try to get the user type value. Okay, so for this, we also need to add the user model over here. So we need to use app backslash models backslash uh, user. Okay, uh, user of our uh, model name. And one more thing, since we are using auth, so we need to add a auth function at the top as well. So let me just copy this on and I'll paste it over here. So for this auth, we need to say over here, illuminate it, uh, then backslash support, backslash, then it will be facet, backslash auth. Uh, so we'll be able to get the user type data, user type value very easily. So now we just need to set a condition if uh, user type dollar user type double equal to uh, let's say on then on means admin we mentioned earlier I said earlier actually uh, if the user type value is on then it will return us a view return view it will uh, let's say it will take us to admin dot home admin page and uh, we need to give a semicolon if the user type value is not on it means if the value is zero so we will just directly give a else condition over and inside this else condition uh, let's say control c control v inside this else condition we will say return view uh, it will be dashboard dashboard uh, which we just uh, normally get uh, when we logged in uh, okay so let's save it control s i hope everything is fine over here as well uh, so let me just refresh so let's try to log in for user first so let's give over here user let's give the password click login okay over here uh, in the url you can see the redirects option over here so we are able to successfully redirect to our user dashboard now we will try to uh, log in to our admin dashboard but uh, first of all we don't have uh, we did not create the dashboard for admin so first of all we need to create the admin dashboard so in the controller we mentioned that uh, if the user type is on it means admin it will create a uh, return a view admin dot home so we will first of all we will create the admin folder in the a uh, resource uh, in the view over here in the view folder so let's just right click on the view then uh, over here you can see new folder click new folder then we'll say over here admin press enter 
so it created an admin folder so inside it we are going to right click then new file we will say home dot play dot php so let's save it control s now save so let's just say a simple thing over here html then uh inside this body we we'll say h on so let's uh admin dashboard so let's save it control s and uh, let's just refresh now let's say our head admin then let's keep the password and let's click login so here you can see that it took us to this space admin dashboard okay so we don't have this uh, we don't have any uh, logout option over here so we need to add a logout option so that we can log out so for it uh, again let's go back to our code and uh, if we go to uh, over here you can see dashboard.blade.php this is the user dashboard so we are what we are going to do is that uh, we'll just copy this entire thing so control c and uh, let me just paste it inside this home.admin home.blade.php control d so over here let me just remove everything from here so you can see it had only x app layout and uh, the closing if that x app layout actually this uh two single line is actually responsible for adding the logout option so if we refresh right now you can see that uh, we have a admin uh, profile and logout option and you can see a different color over here uh, which is not white now if you want to change the background all you have to do is that go let's go back to our code and uh, over here you can see layouts and inside layouts you can see app.blade.php so if you go down uh, you can see uh, mean age skin breezy uh, 100 if you just remove this line and save it and if you just refresh now you can see that uh, the previous color is gone now everything is white now if you want to uh, change the or remove this logo or dashboard sign all you have to do is that uh, you have to go to navigation menu.blade.php then uh, over here you can see dashboard and uh, you can see uh, something called logo written over here you can see navigation link over here as well uh, if you just remove this and save it and refresh now you can see that the logo is also gone right now okay so we are able to successfully make a login for user and admin okay this is it for this tutorial i hope you like this tutorial and if you have faced any problem or any confusion then let me know in the comment section uh we'll do the template in the integration part for both user and admin in the next tutorial so if you want to get notification or for the next tutorial then please subscribe my channel i really appreciate if you subscribe so thanks again for watching